Hi everyone, it is Quinn for the win here again with you sharing always my personal stories, my uh, real moments, whether it's hard or wonderful, I'm going to be sharing it with you because this self-love journey that uh, I am calling it here has always served me, has served me really well. I just went on a jog that was the self-love practice for myself today and it is clearing out the anxiety and some of the things that has been bothering me. And I noticed that I was up until like two, maybe 3 a.m. last night. If you look at my stories, you can see that I was up. <laughs> Definitely past 2 a.m. and I was kind of getting a little bit annoyed and I know that you've been there before and then your mind is just going and you, you feel restless. So this is what I recommend because this is what helps me eventually fall asleep. Number one, express what is coming up for you. So I've been getting some anxiety um, and it showed up last night because there is these family meetings that uh, me and my family have been having once a week. And I'm always needing or attempting to find a way to deliver a message that I want to say without sounding really harsh or really mean or hateful or judgy. Um, I'm just taking in consideration of the energy as a whole and what it needs to feel so that it can feel very supportive right? Basically not dumping my stress levels onto um, a certain person. So I was able to write kind of like in a letter format and write, right when I was able to express it through text in my like notepad thing that I have on my phone, I was able to really write it out in a way where I see myself delivering that message. So I have notes with me now to bring it to this family meeting and um, like it just, it felt so good to be able to get it out and put it in a, um, in a place where I can text it out. And then also, you know, random ideas and like sayings and quotes and topic points that came up, I wrote it in my notepad on my phone also. So we need to get it out. And then after that, I started getting really tired and I was able to fall asleep finally. But the thoughts wouldn't go away. So when the thoughts are there, we're already up. So we might as well do something about it instead of fighting against it and forcing it to go away. It won't go away until you release and you express it somewhere. So that is my tip if you're having a restless night and to be more proactive about it because I did not work out yesterday. I've been working out mostly like at least once a day. I did not work out in the past two days. Um, there was other ways that I practiced self-love. I know that I um, expressed myself through um, getting it out through text and videos. So, but the physical release is what my body is getting really used to. So, um, I, it made sense. That was no wonder I had energy too. I wasn't able to like burn it off. So no wonder I was left with all those thoughts at night. So yeah. And then today I got in my workout, got in my workout. So continue to do what's been working for you. You notice that once you fall off of something, all of a sudden you can't sleep at night. That's how important the self-love practice is because it helps you get out what's bothering you, what could be there that you didn't even know that was there out. So that is my tip for you today. Do not miss your usual self-love practice. And if you're restless at night and the thoughts are swarming, it's time to get it out. Because once I did that, now you're able to rest. All right. Bye.